Hello everybody, Ben here and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be making a Dundas Models Fail of Rydal 4 wheel brake van. The, these are sort of part of a range of the Dundas Models kits in 09. Uh, there's quite a lot of them and I, I have built a few of them in the past as well. They're sort of just in a plastic bag as you can see here and you get sort of some instructions sometimes there's a diagram on them and then you'll get sort of the plastic which I think is injection moulded on the sprues uh, wheels I think sometimes couplings not all of them do some of them do some of them don't and sometimes some white metal parts as well and see here we've got that a couple of sprues here and you've even got instructions which sort of show the history and obviously the actual instructions what to do and a diagram at the bottom as well there you are, that's all the sprues laid out there with everything with the ends, the sort of wheels, the glazing even and the sort of vacuum pipes as well. To start off I cut out all the different parts from the sprues just using some cutters. There you can see I'm doing the rest of them here and this then sort of means you can move on to the next step. Once you've done that obviously you have to do everything, I find it's just better to do it everything at the same time using a knife is also good for some of the smaller more fragile parts and then after that it's sanding to remove any sort of parts off there just to make it a little bit smoother and go together a little bit better and then I, after cleaning all the parts up I started gluing it together the glue I'm using is the Dulux material plastic glue and it has a sort of little applicator thing in the end which means you can get quite close up and push his position quite close and good accurate gluing and I'm just getting the glue on the sort of little part there where you've put the floor onto it and then obviously you do the other end and then you sort of start making up the rest of it as well and now I'm doing the same thing on the other end using the plastic glue to stick it on just running it along the edge and then if you want you can also do it on the sort of little lip part that on the other piece and then you just push them together and sort of hold them there and it sort of sticks the thing about it is it does melt plastic i believe because that's sort of how it glues them it sort of almost melts them together uh so it is worth being mindful of that about that make sure you don't put too much on it and just destroy it it's not sort of super strong that's not like you put a drop on it, it'll burn all the way through but it's just something that happens and that's how it sticks together i believe after sanding the guard stuck it so they actually fit in the gap there's a sort of part where you have to glue it in you can see it's next to the sort of doors and these allow obviously the guard to lock out up and down the line and i just put a bunch of glue there and then fitted the ducket onto that and did the same thing on the other side as well. I found that these needed quite a lot of glue though to actually make them stick. If I'm reading the instructions and following the diagram right, I believe some part needs cutting out. So that's what I'm doing here now. It just needs sort of cutting off the part, the sort of sprue part, and then it can then be glued onto the sort of underframe adding some underframe detail there as well. On the chassis parts where the wheels actually go into in the actual boxes, I find it's worth checking before you actually glue it, just to sort of spin the wheel around in this thing, just to make sure it feels smooth, and if not then sort of use a knife to sort of carefully carve it out so it's just a bit smoother. And this will help how far the model can actually roll you can see now I've already attached some of the underframe pieces and also the sole bars and now I'm adding the other one here just running some plastic glue along the sort of edge here where they go to you can see there's those sort of plastic pieces to help sort of guide you where to put it and then just sort of push it into place and hold it there for a bit while the glue dries it should only take about 10-20 seconds I believe I found on the side pieces that there was these sort of moulding dot sort of things and I found it useful to cut it and sand it with a knife and this sort of shows the importance 
of dry fitting pieces together, making sure they actually fit together so then they can sort of go together correctly and it just means that your kit goes together a little bit better. With that done, it was then glued to the other piece of the guard van by running some glue along the uprights and along where it's supposed to fit and on the side the floor there as well and then this plenty of glue means that it should hopefully stick. And it was then carefully positioned into place matching everything up. You can see there with the ends we're supposed to match it up with the height and also with the sort of buffer beam parts. I did find this part quite tricky to do so it's best to take your time with this and make sure everything matches up. You can see sort of the height and the ends all match up. That's what you want it to do. I found it, the plastic glue gave a bit of time to move, but it did need to, another sort of lot of glue to actually make it stick. And, and I put some more on the inside of the guard van to help it actually all go together properly. But eventually it all went together where I was happy with it. Once that dried sufficiently, I then added some underframe detail made up of the spare parts in the kit. It's obviously not particularly accurate, but I prefer having something there over something that is actually accurate. But it's a bit more expensive, but I believe this is somewhat accurate. You also get in the kit this sprue here as well with various things on. And I believe these are the oil lamps, the sort of oil fittings that go on the roof. I believe I've here I'm making it wrong because you cut that out, this part out, which is all fine. But I believe when looking at sort of like the Peco L and B coaches that I've got, uh, that that's all they are. But I'm I've decided here to add that sort of part on top. Though I later go back and change that. The roof part needed quite a bit of sanding to remove the parts where it was attached to the screw, and also quite a bit of sanding just to actually get it to fit on the body and. I did struggle quite a bit to get this to fit onto it, uh, which involves sanding down the edges and also the roof itself, like uh, similar to what I'm doing here. Uh, so that was a bit annoying, but I managed to get it decently well and hid what small gaps were left with paint. The piece that I'd glued together not too long ago was then added onto the roof. I make sure to roughly line this up with the guard's section where he would be. So obviously he wants the light, the goods which can be carried in the preview, in the back part of it, because that's why there's a set of double doors. They can be added there. They don't need it there. Though I believe where I'm adding it now, if I look at it, I'm sort of fitting it onto it. This didn't look quite right to me. I think it's better to put it more in line with the door, sort of guard's door. So I, I added some glue, more glue there, and put it there instead. With, with that now dried, I then test fitted the roof, and you can see it doesn't quite fit. The wheels were then carefully put in, trying not to break anything once the glue had dried. And then you can see how well or bad that the model rolls. I found this quite difficult, but eventually I did actually get them in. What I believe is the vacuum pipes, which go on the end of the model, which are made out of white metal. I used Gorilla Glue Super Glue to attach these to the plastic using just obviously a very small amount and using a cocktail stick just to apply the glue in very small amounts to the parts that would actually touch the body of the guards van and then carefully position them in place trying not to get super glue everywhere because it's, it's quite sticky and using super the tweezers sort of helped but it was a bit 
difficult and did need to hold it in place for a bit and it did keep falling off but obviously uh, but eventually I did get it to fit on properly as you can see there and then it's obviously the same thing for the other piece as well sanding it down a little bit I did also find help stick it on a little bit better so guys fan done now I've gone along with a craft knife and sort of scarred the panel lines which just sort of I think as you saw highlight a bit more and just looks a bit better I just simply run along like that and go up and down it's a bit of a boring process but I think it looks a bit better this is then after a few coats of paint this paint I believe is Humbro ac acrylic I can't remember the number but I think it's 168 but I might be wrong there I decided to add a guard on the inside but I didn't have a proper guard figure and seeing as though I wasn't going to have any lights you're not going to see him particularly much so I just decided to add a rough figure that would fit in however it did seem quite tall and was sort of poking over the end so I, I did sand him down a bit but I ended up just cutting off his feet and then I also cut off his sort of backpack as well because I believe he's more of a sort of walker but I wanted him more as a sort of guard which I don't think would really have a rucksack and then after painting the guard in blue and green I think I did a all right job you can see him there glued in place with the roof then painted black it was then glued on then decided to add some transfers these i believe are fox transfers transfers and i just added i think to five tons i don't know how much actually that these would carry but i thought that's a, a decent amount and then nine also just a random number it was then weathered pretty heavily and then using a earbud it was then sort of cleaned off a little bit to make it a little cleaner and look at more well work stained rather than just completely filthy it does need couplings so i can't run it properly but i think it looks quite good and i'm quite pleased with it and i believe that this cost me 11 pounds so i don't think that's too bad for what it looks like either Thank you for watching this video by me, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below with some video ideas or feedback. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.